G'day everyone, welcome to another video by myself, Andrew DFT. And of course, by the title below, you can tell that this video is about the Destiny hand cannon, Dreg's Promise. Now the reason for creating this Dreg's Promise is that I wanted to get a gun from Destiny to fit into my Project 20. Now for a lot of you who are new here, Project 20 is an art project I'm currently working on, which takes 20 games and finding an individual gun that is both iconic or unique and building it into a prop to go on a display board and make them all look fantastic. Now since Destiny released, and even before Destiny released, especially with the beta and a lot of uh, preview content, I've been producing Destiny props. I've produced at least over 20, with a lot of those being hand cannons, so trying to find something unique and different that I haven't done before was rather essential. Now Drake's Promise was a cool, unique design that was released with, I think, a trio of uh, fallen weapons that were converted into Guardian-styled ones with the Prison of Elder Bounties uh, a wee while ago now, but it was one that stood out and a lot of people thought was very cool. A lot of people said it was not so good, but I was one of the ones that thought it was rather cool. So trying to find this in a array of weapons was something I thought was kind of cool, and to make it into a prop was definitely going to be a fun challenge at that. But this is the outcome I got. I'm extremely happy with how this turned out because this is a very challenging design to create out of the medium that I use, which is XPS Styrofoam. It's a very high dense fiber board, so very fragile, but creating a lot of cool, unique pieces of detail is something you can do very well on this material, but it just has that fragileness where I could break a lot of this off extremely easy, but um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put it on the wall and never touch it again. But all jokes aside, this was a fun gun to build. And it was, of course, a challenge. Now, when I did approach this, I wanted to say I wanted to make it look exactly like the gun. I wanted to get the detail. I didn't want to hesitate or break off from the original design to sacrifice, of course, for the limitations of the material. So I pushed it, I got it there, and of course, I did find that limits of that material. But I think it was worth it because the design, the look, the aesthetic is matched just like the original design had it. Now, of course, this is a part of Project 20, and of course, on screen right now, you can see the list of games that I've currently got in production or I've already done. Now, there's a lot of space still there to be added, so if you do know a cool design and you'd like to be added, please let me know from a game in the comments below. It's uh, gonna get pretty hectic with a lot of guns still to produce, but I wanna get them out of the way so I can get onto some bigger, larger projects as well as some tutorials coming shortly. Now, if you're wanting to build this yourself, I'll say good luck and I bid you farewell. But you can, of course, go ahead and at least attempt, or if you do manage to nail it, please let me know on my Instagram. I'd love to see a photo. But the templates, of course, are free in the description box below, all scaled to the same size as this one now. Good luck. But that's it. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Like I said, we've got plenty of guns still to go through Project 20, as well as other guns from different games that aren't involved in Project 20, but are just fun to build and cool to look at. And of course, some tutorials on the way to help get you guys building the stuff yourself. So, Project 20 will continue, of course. Let me know in the comments. I really want to know what you guys are liking. Let's fill that list up. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. And of course, until the next one, catch you later.